So like many uh, other speakers of this conference, I have received very specific instruction from Sabrina. So, uh, so uh, a month ago, <laughs> I received this email from Sabrina saying that we would be honored for you to help chair this closing session as you have at past strings. Uh, I have given summary talk, but I've never chaired the last session, so I asked her, what does it do mean? And she said, she sent, sent me a longer email saying that the hope would be the strings planning committee proposal would have been ratified via a vote that opened after Rajesh Town Hall and closed by Friday afternoon. So this would be the, a chance for you to have the floor as a representative of the committee. That address will be the main content of the closing session, hence my use of the word chair. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll do what my boss says. Since the last time the ad hoc spring com a planning committee had 10 meetings to discuss rules and the procedures of the committee, and that's what we proposed uh, yesterday, uh, I think the text of the proposal have been available from the beginning of this conference for you to read. And so we proposed them at the town hall meeting yesterday, and we asked you to vote on it. And so now it's a time to open the ballot, and so here comes Sabrina, the commissioner, to announce the outcome. Please uh, open the ballot. Okay. Well, first of all, I guess if you see me running around, I'm having a lot of fun organizing strings, so for future organizers, it is fun. And part of that is also that you get to tell a lot of people what you want them to do and write a lot of emails. <laughs> and unfortunately, if you're not very precise, it, you'll find that out very quickly. Uh, so it'll come up in various slides, and it'll come up on the slide, too. So uh, right now you can see the results of the survey, uh, the number of people who were registered to attend the conference that all got the invite link to vote as discussed yesterday, the number of votes that were received, the number of ones that matched to unique registrants, and where that broke, breakdown happened. So uh, if I may take one minute to just talk about, I guess, the edge cases, which were the ones that this procedure uh, of like how, how the vote was set up was designed to like ex exclude so that you don't have this um, like double counting or whatever. Uh, actually, are, I would say positive lessons, uh, or say positive things about the community. So the first thing is I want to commend an anonymous comment. Uh, the way that the form was set up was basically that you could put anything for like your name. Uh, and so the fact that it wasn't fully anonymous in the sense that I'm the anonymizer is a red flag and I absolutely agree. And so what I think is great is that when you do something that could be better, people will point it out. And I look forward to any referendum procedure being something where we can make sure that you don't have to have somebody that you trust uh, doing that counting, but to allay any fears, the uh, form, the results from that form uh, are deleted and the trash is emptied. So 23 appears a couple times here, but that's just a coincidence. Um, next thing I wanna say is that the accidental duplicates weren't people trying to vote multiple times. It's really, again, precision in the email. You think you wrote an email that wasn't ambiguous, and then you realize you send a reminder to everybody with their name in it, because Indico puts the name in the email, and it's like, oh, I didn't vote, <laughs> and then they vote again. And so what I like about that is that you can see that if you think something's unambiguous, or you think you have the right thing, and you just send it out into the world, and you have a nice community uh, being reasonable, sending back to you what they think you meant, you will figure out if you made a little bit of an error there. And so this is where I'm very much looking forward to the evolution of this committee that obviously has, has won the votes to, to exist now, uh, being something where we can actively be taking feedback from people and uh, trusting that they're not trying to gain the system, they're really trying to help us. So without further ado, I'd like to hand it over to Hiroshi. Thank you very much, Commissioner Sabrina. So, so now uh, our proposal has been approved. So. Uh, <laughs> So now we can move forward. So this is what uh, you guys approved, and I'm not going to read that. And I just wanted to thank you for your trust and support uh, for, for this initiative. Uh, so now, uh, during this process, uh, we were informed that there are actually a couple of groups who are interested in hosting future strings conference. So, but now that we have this uh, uh, process, uh, we have invited them to submit the formal written a proposal based on these requirements that uh, we have outlined in these rules and procedures. So now uh, I would like to take this opportunity to invite a representative of these two groups to come here and announce their intent to submit their proposal to host future strings conferences. The first group rep is represented by Matthias and Irene. 
Okay, so, so we intend to submit a proposal to host uh, Strings 2824 at CERN. And uh, obviously we had started to the process, although we've sort of not completed it, waiting for approval. But the dates are already fixed. That's probably the most important thing for you to know at this stage. We propose it to take place early June, 3 to 7 June 2024. And it's going to take place at the newly uh, created CERN Science Gateway. So the, the next uh, uh, group is represented by Ahmed Armheri, and uh, uh, he's going to tell us what his proposal is going to be. Great. So thanks, Hiroshi, and thanks, Sabrina, for giving me a uh, stage to say a few words. So I, I wanted to announce that I, too, intend to submit a proposal to uh, host Strings 2025 in Abu Dhabi, um, and we have a tentative list of organizers, including myself, Fernando Covedo, Leonardo Rustelli, Suvert Raju, and possibly Eva Silverstein. Um, I'm proposing to have it in uh, Abu Dhabi, right there, in the United uh, Arab Emirates, and it would be the first time that strings uh, would be held in an Arab country, which is obviously a good thing. It's a federation of seven emirates, or you can think of it, uh, think of them as states. Population is roughly 10 million. Uh, it's the home of uh, two more than 100 nationalities, and we get of order the population number of tourists every single year. Here's a picture of Abu Dhabi. It's a very cosmopolitan city with a lot of diversity, and it just so happens to be one of the safest cities uh, across the planet. So I really hope that uh, the proposal uh, gets accepted, and I hope to see all of you in Abu Dhabi in January 2025. Thank you so much. So the last thing uh, I'd like to do is probably the most important thing, which is to thank the organizers. Uh, so in particular, I'd like to thank Sabrina for putting lots of wonderful ideas and discipline and uh, uh, an infinite amount of energy to make this conference really uh, both inspiring and enjoyable to all of us.